Welcome back to Eye on South Asia. Let's move on to our story about the University of Chicago um, doing a big commemorative project for um, Swami Vivekananda. Yeah, Swami Vivekananda addressed in 1893 mm -hmm. uh, Parliament of the World's Religions in Chicago where he delivered a seminal lecture on the teachings of Hinduism. And uh, he, they have pledged, the government of India has pledged $1.5 million to University of Chicago, which is extraordinary gesture. And uh, um, currently at the university, there are um, more than 60 of the University of Chicago faculty members are engaged in the study of South Asian history, culture, mm -hmm. and language. And the university offers instruction in nine modern and two classical Indian languages, including uh, Malayalam, Marathi, and Telugu. Which yeah, is excellent. That's excellent. I mean, the the university has a great commitment to um, you know having this relationship with India and you know South Asian studies. So, and in fact, the president of the university, Bob Zimmer, has said the University of Chicago. Uh, this is a pledge as well as up you know a coming visit because uh, Pranay Mukherjee, who is who was here here finally after this. Um, it is a testament to the importance of the relationship between the University of Chicago and India, mm -hmm. and uh, this is a strong commitment towards a scholarship. Absolutely. Uh, on another very big breaking story this week, we have uh, Bhavna uh, from this young man, Suki Shah. He is son of Nayan Shah from Washington, D.C., a very decorated family. Uh, uncle is uh, um, uh, a well known doctor. Um, in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. um, Dr. Vinod Shah, he was also the president of API. And this young man has started a company called GetHired.com. Uh, hi, I'm Suki Shah. I'm the CEO of GetHired.com, and we are a video-based social recruiting platform. Uh, GetHired.com helps people find jobs, uh, plain and simple, and we do it for free. And uh, that's why employers are very excited about it, too, because they can come on the system and they can find the people who, who want to find jobs. Uh, well, uh, what we do is we allow job seekers to create video and audio profiles of themselves, uh -huh. and we allow employers to search uh, based off of those characteristics and, and, and connect, with, uh, connect with them. With the elections coming up, the number one issue is the economy and job creation and job growth. And uh, the BLS report just came out today, and the unemployment rate, uh, thankfully, is, uh, has been reduced to 8.3%. Uh, and so uh, that is the number one issue uh, in our country right now. And so the response from both sides, Democrats, Republicans, uh, has been phenomenal. Uh, anywhere where we can help create jobs, there's always a, a, a positive uh, side to that, uh, no matter which side of the aisle you're on. Anything that leads to a possibility of creating jobs or facilitating jobs to an employer or an employee's, potential employees, mm -hmm. is going to raise the eyeballs, is going to raise the eyebrows, is going to open up minds for people. Mm -hmm. And he went to the Bay Area to meet the venture capitalists and immediately raised, he was oversubscribed. He raised $1.75 million like this. Wow, and you know, it's so different what he's offering compared to what's out there right now. You know, he's utilizing various forms of media like audio and video to really get into, um, you know, the actual personality and the, you know, qualifications of the candidates. And it's also helping cut through the chase for this selection criteria. You know, you don't have to go for resume and then you get the resume, you go through the resume. It's like a long process here is cutting through an interactive platform, which is online. Mm -hmm. And then it is added with video and audio. Right. So you're able to talk to the end candidate potentially very quickly and meet them online without really spending much time, which is also not losing money. Mm -hmm. And this is right. free. Yeah. On top of this is free. I spoke to uh, Suki, and we'll probably bring him onto the show one of these days. Mm -hmm. And I said, what is the source of your revenue? He said, uh, you know, we, we expect to be able to make money from advertising and affiliate opportunities. But right now, the idea is to take this platform as a global platform, mm -hmm. which, can, uh, which can be like a job board um, uh, and which can function, which has a strong functionality. It has a video and audio pre-screening, mm -hmm. applicant tracking, real-time video conferencing, and more. You know, there is no limits. Right now, obviously, it's focusing on US, but this 
so service will be available all over the world and eventually they're going to bring in the immigration experts so somebody is outside of the country they can also apply for the job through this platform by of course checking on the immigration requirements definitely that sounds very exciting very very exciting and here is a young man who is excelling exciting and uh, positioned to be the next wonder in our community mm -hmm. uh, there is a little unfortunate story about Brian Moynihan it seems to be that um, at least is claimed by one of the experts uh, um, uh, that he is in trouble, uh, which is Mr. P uh, Plath, uh, who says that uh, Moynihan is on the verge of resigning. And he feels that all the uh, issues that have come up suddenly are actually the board's responsibility because uh, CEO does not do anything without board's permission. Mm -hmm. and. Thus, board will have to sacrifice him or he'll have to sacrifice and move on. And he expects a resignation from the CEO of Bank of America to come around very, very fast. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not a good thing because it's the second largest bank in the country. And a CEO going away, uh, being asked to step yeah, down is not a very pleasant story. Right. Celebrations. Republic, uh, Republic Day. Day, you were right in India. <laughs> yes, I was actually in Delhi um, as they were preparing for the parade. Yeah. And they were all on very high security and everything. So it was a very exciting Look, time. security is a part of our <laughs> life regardless of what you do, wherever you do. But the best part is 26 January, the Republic Day of India is a very celebrated day. And we also celebrated here in the Indian Consulate, like many other places must have been. Mm -hmm. And uh, fortunately, we had our own Minister for NRI Affairs, Vaila Ravi, who was here. Mm -hmm. And he addressed the community. There were almost like 200 plus people, very important dignitaries from the community, who were attending this event. And he spoke about the accomplishments of India, the way the government has done. He was, you know, very, very positive. And then we also had our own former ambassador to US, uh, Mr. Lalit Man Singh. Mm -hmm. And he spoke beautifully and he uh, talked about what are the pluses, what are the strengths, what are the good areas where India is excelling. Uh, we had obviously our own ambassador to, former ambassador to United Nations and now the, um, um, uh, the assistant to secretary um, uh, of United Nations, Mr. Nambiar. He spoke very well, and then we had the um, the the Council General uh, to uh, from Australia. It was so interesting. the The Council General from Australia uh, spoke so beautifully, and he connected the whole thing between India and Australia through cricket because mm -hmm. he loves cricket. And right. you know what's going on with Indian cricket. Australia is beating. Uh, India, white, complete whitewashing, 4-0. <laughs> uh -huh. So, but he took it very humorously and endeared through his speech to the community. And at this occasion, they also uh, felicitated two of the Pravasi Saman Award winners. Mm -hmm. uh, there was Professor Surendra Kaushik, who was here uh, last week on our other show. The leading force, who is from Rajasthan, has done extraordinary service for the community and in his own space. And then there was last year's honoree, Ashok Ram Saran, who was um, there, and both were conferred with the uh, award in front of the community, who really applauded their work. That's Republic Day, obviously, like I said, celebration. was celebration everywhere, mm -hmm. including in Bay Area, where Radio Zindagi with kids and youth programs, which is brought by the two uh, husband and wife, uh, Ajay Jain Bhutoria and Vineet Jain Bhutoria. Uh, uh, it was a huge celebration and Radio Zindi collaborated with them to uh, do this very, very nice event. Mm -hmm. And many of the performing artists were put on radio live. That created the real, real uh, music. Oh, well, that must have been man. quite a show. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Bhavana, uh, as against all the time, always, every week after week, fortunately this time we have less of those. Uh, we have some challenging stories from our community this time one, and that five Indian Americans have been um, indicted in Michigan for a kickback scheme. Same old story, uh, medical facilities and mm -hmm. in collusion with doctors. Um, they subscribe and um, they make money through unnecessary referrals. And to the testing them, facilities, right? The same them. thing happened here in New it's Jersey. It's like never <laughs> a story. Yeah. 
Moving on to the very interesting, your glamour story mm -hmm. uh, from the big screen. We have this uh, President's Award which are announced at this time, Padma Bhushan, Padma Shri and what not. And this time is my favourite. Dharmendra has been selected for his lifetime achievement uh, for Padma Bhushan. Mm -hmm. And uh, this man started in 1960. He's a real hero. If you really look at him, I met him uh, a couple of years ago here recently. And, um, He's, you know, he's like a 76-year-old, most handsome dude you can think about. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has been given the um, award. And then with him is Shabana Azmi, our own Mira Nair. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, several other people have been um, clearly um, acknowledged for their work, including um, there is a Padma um, Shri Award for, uh, Padma Bhushan Award for the foreign, uh, former, a Singapore Foreign Minister George Yong Bon Yu, mm -hmm. because she in she's uh, establishing an international university in Bihar in Nalanda, which is known for the academic uh, home for India, where the oldest university ever decided called Nalanda, mm -hmm. and with Nalanda Mentor Group, which is headed by the Nobel laureate Professor Amrita Sen, they are building a wonderful university. And at this place, we had very high-level dignitaries, including Lord Meghna Desai, Sugata Bose of Harvard University. And I think this is a very wonderful move, which will put India on a high map as far as education and academic institutions are concerned. Right. That's great to be able to use such a high honor to do something so great like that. Yeah. Uh, there's a big, um, big uh, start to Indian movies. Uh, first big movie has come into the market, and uh, Agripath, which mm -hmm. is a remake in name, and Hrithik Roshan, Sanjay Dutt, Rishi Kapoor, Priyanka Chopra, and uh, it was released by Rose International, mm -hmm. and uh, it has grossed. It has the first weekend collections in the United States alone. They have done 1.3 million dollars, which is an average about 10,000 mm -hmm. plus per th theater. And in you know in the Middle East, they have done about 800 thousand dollars in f four um, days. Mm -hmm. So the uh, producer is excited. The actors are excited. Everybody is excited with the this movie. It has a lot of crime and action in it, but it's very path breaking because Sanjay Dutt has done. A very very uh, good uh, role, and this is the first time Rishi Kapoor has come in a negative role. Okay. And there's a lot of action in the movie. Very interesting, and it's also the highest grosser ever for Hrithik Roshan. It's so. uh, it's wonderful thing for him. And uh, on the same note, we have another Reliance's association collaboration with DreamWorks mm -hmm. of Steven Spielberg. Three of their movies have been nominated for Oscars. It's a huge achievement in three year, three films and made in one year last year is an extraordinary accomplishment for a company mm -hmm. uh, for the joint venture projects. And these three movies, uh, let's hope they do well because they've done financially very, very well. The Help, War Horse and Real Steel, something is, one of them is already crossing 300, another one is crossing 200 million. Right. You know, what kind of money this numbers <laughs> mean, I have no idea. Yeah, they look like big winners for sure. Yeah. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. And keep watching us week after week on Eye on South Asia. Also catch us on YouTube to watch all the past episodes. I'm Bhavna Vannan. See you next week. And I'm Sunil Hali. Thank you for watching Eye on South Asia week after week. Have a great weekend, folks. See you next week.